Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to be organized in your Google Drive. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to Google, choose sign in in the upper right corner if you haven't done already, and I'm going to choose my account. So if you're not set up, you're going to need to type in your student number. So for example, if your student number is 12345, that's what you would type in. You would then put the at symbol student asd20.org. You would then click next, go ahead and type in your password. Once you type in your password, you can get in. You're going to then go to the upper right corner, click on the Google Apps, those nine dots, and choose Drive. I want to point something out. You can view your drive in a couple views. So if you look in the upper right corner, there's the list view. If I click on that, you can see a different view. Just keep that in mind that that's an option. I also want to point out the settings in the upper right corner. If you click on the settings, there's a couple options you might want to choose. So if you want a quick access view, I'm going to go ahead and click on that so you can see what's going to happen when I choose done. Now when I refresh the window, you should see that quick access. Those are things that I've recently worked on. If you don't want to view it, then go back into settings and deselect that option. Click done and then refresh again. If you're just starting with Google Drive, you probably won't have much at all in your folder. But I have quite a bit of folders already created, but I also have things outside of a folder. This is where you need to organize. These should be in a folder. So as you can see, I have several images here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the View option in the upper right corner and scroll down so you can see what's going on. You can tell what the document is. So for example, that's a survey. I have surveys, I have, this is a Google drawing, this is a spreadsheet, and these are images. Before I start putting those into folders, I do want to point out that if you have anything titled, untitled. What kind of name is untitled? I've never heard of such a thing. You need to open it up. Notice I have this untitled document. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and determine, first of all, if I want to keep it. I do want to keep it, and it's a United States map, so I will go ahead and I will title it United States Map. It should refresh. You don't have to save. You're in Google Drive. I'll close that, and this will refresh. You're going to want to go in and open some of these to determine if you want to keep them. So I'll go ahead and open up these two untitled documents to see if I should save it. There's nothing there. I'll open up the other one. Again, there's nothing built up. What is the point of keeping these if I don't intend on working on them? So I will hold down the control key to select both. I can click on the trash can in the upper right corner to delete it, or I can right click and I can choose remove. I'm going to go ahead and right click and choose remove, and I will continue removing items I do not want to keep. So I want to point out I do have these clustered images together here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose new folder and I'm going to type in images. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose change color. I like to color my folders. And there's a couple ways to get those images into that images folder. So I'll locate the images. I'll hold down the control key to select those images. And I can expand my drive in the upper left corner. I can locate that images folder. I actually have two, so that's not a good thing. So because I don't need this, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. You don't want to have more than one images folder. That will be confusing. So I will go ahead and select those images. I sh again, hold the control key. I can drag them into that images folder. That's one way to do it. Or I can click on this drop down menu and choose move to. Or I can right click and I can choose move to. I can locate the folder. You choose whatever strategy you want. I will open up that images and I will choose move here. I'm going to go into the different view mode and double check if I have a surveys folder because I have some surveys and I want to put them into this surveys folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one survey, hold the control key to select all of my surveys. You can tell by the little icon in the bottom left corner that it's a survey. I have all these surveys. Actually, I might want to delete some of those. Those are former students. And with those selected, I can drag them over on the left or I can right click and choose move to locate that surveys folder and choose move here and you'll see that my folder is starting to get much more organized. I will continue putting these in the proper folders. Notice I have a drawing folder. You can tell that there's drawings by the bottom left corner. I'm going to hold down the control key to select the drawings.
Once all those drawings are selected, I will right click and choose Move To. I will locate the Drawings folder and choose Move Here. I will continue organizing my folder. If you do not have time, you can always choose New Folder and choose Organize and come back to this later to organize your folder. I will create that folder, Organize. I will right click and I will choose Change Color and maybe I'll make it blue. I will select all the remaining items and organize them later. I will click on that one in the upper left corner, scroll down, hold the shift key to get all of them. Once they're all selected, I will then drag them into the organized folder. That's another way to move items. Now I have nothing but folders. When I have time, I will come back to this organize and I will put these in a proper folder. Before I finish, I do want to show you how to rename something in your drive. You would right click, you would choose rename, and you would rename it. I'll call this camera. Another thing, if you want to share a folder, say for example you want to share your documents with a classmate, you would right click, you would choose share, you would then type in their student number, locate the student, and then you would click send. Now notice the pencil. If you just want to give them viewing, make sure it says view only. Otherwise, you can give them editing privileges. This concludes the session on how to stay organized in Google Drive. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.